Your Highness. I return for my mission. I can only say that I've, I'm glad that you were safe in my absence. It is good seeing you again, but I cannot say that I have pleasurable news to share. Of course. It may... It may justify a private meeting. In your quarters. I suppose that would work, yes. Well, I suppose I'm one of the few permitted to go in there. Alright. I'll follow you. This news isn't great, but I, I will at least say that our kingdom is not in any immediate danger. No, it is merely our neighbors making fools of themselves, at least from the look of it. For what reason, I cannot say, but... the sigil. No, 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 no. It... I'm fine. I was merely attacked on the way here, but it was deep in no man's land, so nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, a werewolf. I know they're usually further down south, but I suppose a stray made its way up. A shame, I know, but I wouldn't count on them making a full-scale invasion, seeing as how they're not even organized in the first place. Though there are beasts that are, and, well... There's news about them too, but they're not as pressing, though it's still important. We could tell this to your advisors, but I... I'd rather see you first. Make sure that you can process this before going into a full-scale debate and strategizing over it. Besides, it's been months since you've been able to see your royal protector. I figured we have some catching up to do. Of course. Besides this... situation that we found ourselves in, I... It is good seeing you again. I'm glad to be back. Uh, of course. Yes. Let us continue this discussion in your chambers. <sighs> there we go. Away from any prime ears. Feels like it's been forever since, since I've gotten to see you. I know it's only been about a month and a half, but I miss every moment that I'm not with you. Fear for every moment that I won't be able to protect you. I, I know you're more than capable on your own. I, I know. I just. Can't help but worry. Of course, um, would you like to start with the bad news or just 
settle in with each other. I suppose that's good for both of our health. My mind is ba bounced back and forth between yourself and everything that I've witnessed, but now I'm here and it feels, it feels like it's melting away. <laughs> yes, let's, let's sit down. Of course. No one else is here, right? I assume so. I happen to have a keen eye for those things, but... <laughs> just in case if you happen to install anything while I was gone. Good. Then... May I? Of course. Truly is good to be back in your arms again. Now, I... I am happy to return safe. Thankfully, nothing has infected me out there. No undead. The werewolf didn't get a scratch in, but it did throw me against a tree. And, uh, the vampire threat. Oh, of course, I, I forget I have known this for a month and now and... Let's just talk it through now. So, our neighbors, the Venthil kingdom and the Corval. We know they've been at each other's throats for some time, fighting over no man's land, but seems that a move was made against the Corval Kingdom recently. Yes, apparently an assassin has slain one of their higher-ups and left a calling card of sorts. And then with the death of one of the Venthil's linemen, it's triggered a war. Yes, it's concerning. We don't know where this will lead or why it's happened, but many of the spy masters have been wondering if this was a coordinated effort by people on the inside of both sides. For what end, we don't know. Perhaps some of their personal politicians have something to benefit if, uh, if a war between them were to take place and the kingdoms unite. Perhaps they see it as a means to an end to uh, officially colonize no man's land. Yes. Whatever it means, I know this puts us in a difficult position. Both of their kings, they, they seem to have history with you. If either side asks us for a favor and notices us decline or we decide to pick a side, then no doubt we'll be making some enemies in the long run. That or both of them will feel ignored and perhaps one day we will be seen as enemies. I know this is a lot, so if you need me to stop, tell me. I know you're strong. That's why I love you. <laughs> now the other thing is, 
that I went further south into my homeland. It seems that some villages are reporting that there are legions of vampires that have been attacking. An organized effort that has resulted in them surrounding entire towns. Some have reportedly fallen with the civilians taking what they can and just legging it to the nearest village, but not many are fortunate. Some have been reportedly taken as cattle. I I've saved who I could, though. There were three families, each on different days, but I managed to cut down those who have enslaved them and then took them back. It seems that they wandered deeper into the forests to the, to the east, but, well, they, no one goes there for a good reason. It's an old human tale, but there's a being beyond there that, if one enters the forest, they are likely to never leave with their life. Sounds like an old fairy tale to keep kids from wandering off far, but over the recent century, it's been all but confirmed that such things are true. M no matter what, I can promise you that Hearthmall will not fall. We're well fortified enough to at least put up with the latter threat, though the former is more strategic. If desired, I can order our spies to infiltrate both kingdoms, see what each would have to gain, gain some favor with some of the politicians there, figure out just what their ends are just so that we can strategize further, see what we can do to end that war as quick as possible, because if either side ends up as shambles, the vampire threat can grow and expand north and... And then maybe we'd be up for a challenge. But besides that, I'm, I'm here now. Have, have you been well? Has everything in the hearth mall? your highness <laughs> apologies I'm used to the formalities I just uh, it's hard to shake them but before you were mine and I was yours you you were my ruler. <laughs> and then one day you decided among an army of elves to pick a human as your royal protector and now I'm here. <laughs> I just wish that we didn't have to keep it so hidden. It's bad enough that you've chosen a human to be among your highest rank, but... <laughs> Gauging how the public would react if they found out that your royal protector was also your lover is... not easy. but I'm willing to hide it for us however long we need to if it means that I can I can be with you <laughs> of course I suppose besides that news we 
now have each other. It's on the road. It's difficult to tell what actions are best, but having to keep you in mind helps. You know, what What helps bring most of us back to you? How can I save the most people so that they can see our kingdom, your kingdom, in its brightest ways? The great influence that we can spread that ensures safety to those who stand with us and those who wish to defile the world, that they fear us. <laughs> Save such speeches for the public. <sighs> I suppose you're right, I've just had these thoughts in my head for a while now, but it is good to get them out. And now we have a war on our hands, be it between the undead or our neighbors, but I'm sure we will make it through this. Please, may I, may we kiss again? Of course. Now, if I may be excused, I will begin alerting our advisors about this. N not before what? Oh, um. I, I, I mean, only if. Only if you wish I would never pressure you into it. I I mean, I know it has been um, over a month and a half, but <laughs> no, I'm not nervous. I'm just I, I just don't realize how much I miss you until you remind me. I suppose I could spare an hour or two. <laughs> of course, your majesty. <laughs> 